Mississippi River is nearing record low water levels, which is causing drinking water supply issues for cities along its banks. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith explains how the river got to this point. Parts of the U.S. are dealing with extreme drought and low water levels. Right now, the Mississippi River is nearing record lows, which is expected to cause major issues in the New Orleans area. The lack of fresh water is allowing for a process called saltwater intrusion. Saltwater is heavier than fresh water, so when flow reduces, the Gulf of Mexico begins to travel upstream on the flat riverbed. This might not seem like a huge issue until you realize that New Orleans draws its drinking water from the Mississippi River. How did we get to this point? The summer pattern that brought us cooler weather in the Carolinas brought all-time record-breaking summer heat to the central U.S. This set the stage for drought, which was almost non-existent along the entire river back in the spring, which is now crippling the region. Just like in Louisiana, the Midlands draws its drinking water from our rivers. Columbia specifically pulls its water from the Broad River and here in Lake Murray. But weather can play a role into the amount of water that we're seeing in these sources. Drought can occur in South Carolina, like in 2015, 2006, and 7, and the biggest drought in our history in 1954. While this can lower some local stream and river levels, the immense reservoir of Lake Murray holds enough water that even in our driest years, drinking water would likely not be impacted. Outside of any threats from pollution, thankfully our drinking water here in the Midlands looks to stay pretty steady, so we shouldn't have any concerns in the near future. From Lake Murray, I'm News 19 WLTX meteorologist Corey Smith. Yeah, it's fascinating. Depending on where you live, at least in the city of Columbia, you either get your water from Broad River or from Lake Murray. Yeah, we all remember the water issues we went through and the flood happened in 2015. Mm -hmm. we Absolutely. And we, I mean, I had no water at my house, none for a full week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was getting bottled water, I think, out of Eastover. And and you, you won't remember this, but you told me to fill up my bathtub mm -hmm. and I didn't do it. And had I have listened to you and filled up my bathtub, I would have at least been able to flush the toilet flush the for toilet. a while. Exactly. Um, so because of you, Jr. since then, every hurricane that we have, I fill up that bathtub now, no matter if it's, gonna, it's supposed to hit us or not. I'm like, I don't care. I've done this before. I'm filling up my bathtub. Lessons learned, right? Less, I learned that lesson. Yeah.